Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I have something really special for you today. 1957 Chieftain and this baby's got the NASCAR 347 Tri-Power under the hood. Let's take a look. Now look at that grill and that bumper and those emblems and everything. There's got to be $20,000 worth of chrome just in the front end of this thing. Look at this beautiful car. And what's really cool about it is we've got miles and miles and miles of documentation on this thing. We have the ownership all the way back to when it was brand new. Now you can check out our ad at VanguardMotorSales.com. All that information will be in the ad. It's way too much for me to remember my little puny brain. As you look down the side, straight as can be, just absolutely beautiful restoration. Now I look at cars all day long, every day, and the last time I saw a 57 Chieftain that was as nice as this, and I don't know if I've ever seen one with that tri-power in it, man. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can see all the chrome looking sweet. And look at this interior. Look at that dash. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. See all the chrome, that steering wheel. I mean, drive this baby into a car show. Unless you're at a Pontiac 1957 Chieftain car show, you are not going to see a car like this anywhere. It's going to draw a crowd wherever it goes. I tell you, it's one of the favorite cars we have in stock right now. You know, we normally have a couple hundred cars sitting around here at all times. And I tell you what, this is one of my favorites right here. Just absolutely gorgeous. I like stuff that nobody has. And this is something nobody has. I guarantee it. There can't be more than a couple of these in the whole United States. Heck, that might be the only one in the United States. She is a beauty. As you look down the side, you can see more stainless, more chrome. Oh, here's the gas bill door too. You gotta take a look at that. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> and look at the fins on this baby. And look at all the chrome back here. Here's another 15, 18 grand worth of chrome back here. Just look at the emblems too. Pontiac loved their chrome and their emblems. Man, they were proud of this thing. They got inch and a half tall letters there that say Pontiac. Let's see. I'm going to go with this key right here. Nope, wrong one. After I do about 5,000 of these videos, one of these days I'm going to actually try the keys out and figure out which one opens it before I start doing the video. But then you guys couldn't laugh at me. <laughs> Look at that spare tire jack in there. The whole trunk's finished off. Just looking absolutely beautiful. I tell you what, guarantee this car probably looks better than the day it rolled off the showroom floor. I guarantee. Man, she's pretty. Just love all the fit and finish on everything. The attention to detail on everything. Just amazing. And like I said, take this car anywhere. You're going to be the only one with one. I mean, just look at that tail light. I mean, can you imagine if you had to get one of those? Where would you even start to go? The white spear down the side, just everything, just looking sweet on this baby. Now those wide whites on those uh, painted rims, those definitely look like radials. When we get this baby up in the air, we'll take a look at those real close and I'll tell you for sure, but they sure look like radials to me. Now guys, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own this Chieftain, so you know we did our homework before we bought it. First thing we do to every car is get it up on the lift and take pictures of it, do an inspection on it, we do our video on it, so you can see exactly what it looks like when we park this dream in your driveway.
All right, 57 Chieftain time, baby. Try power. You want to talk about rare? This is one rare beast right here. You don't have to worry about pulling in a car show unless you're going to a 1957 Pontiac Chieftain show. <laughs> you won't see another one of these, I guarantee, especially done to this quality. Man, you want to talk about sweet and rare. This baby is sweet and rare. I'll tell you what. I'm loving it. My dad would absolutely love this. He always likes uh, odd things. We had a uh, 57 four-door hardtop. Actually, I still have it. Uh, we do a video on it every now and then if you want to go back on the video archive of Vanguard. Now, we would love to have you come check this baby out in person. So if you've got time, come on out and see us. If you need to hop on an airplane, no problem, we're real close to the airport. A lot of guys can fly in in the morning, check out cars, and then fly right back out and be back home for dinner. Uh, we've got the international airport, it's only 20 minutes from here, so give Tom a call anytime and he'll tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. I tell ya, I just love this thing. I really love the speedometer. It's one of those where the red line comes across. See that? The faster you go, the farther across the red line comes. Isn't that cool? Just love it. I tell you, the dash is in beautiful shape. And I tell you, it doesn't look restored. That looks all original and just super beautiful shape. I mean, 1957. This sucker is five years older than me. Can you imagine that? Definitely looks better than I do. Now we're gonna take this baby back and put her up on the lift and show you how nice the bottom side is. We're gonna get the hood up. We're gonna show you that tri-power. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on this Buick investment. I'll tell you what, this sucker is cool. Now she does have the stock AM radio in it. So those of you that need to listen to the radio, you might want to put one of those remote radios in there. There's Tommy. Give him a call. He'll answer. So we're getting back to the shop here. We're at 15100 Keel Street. And you got to stick with us because right now is when we're going to put it in the air and show you just how, how nice the bottom side looks. All right, we're underneath the Chieftain now. And man, she's pretty under here. You can see it looks like it's got a nice restored job on the gas tank here. We got brand new straps. Now we have the original floor here and the trunk, everything looking good. It looks like the uh, spring shackles have been rebuilt. We got brand new exhaust here. Uh, we got the 9.3 Pontiac rear end here. Um, it is an open rear end. Uh, you can see the dual shocks there. We are at three and a quarter on the uh, ratio. Now on the brakes, the guys will pull those all apart, make sure they're in good working order. You can see the frame is looking sweet. Now the whole bottom of the car looks like it's been coated with that, maybe that 414, um, yeah, 414. Um, it's all coated looking good. It does look like we've got two patches in the floor right here, and it looks like they used another piece of floorboard material to uh, patch those in. Looks like an oxycetylene weld. The guy did a real nice job on it. Of course, you know these have those heaters underneath the seat. That's what those are, two heater hoses going there. We got the four-speed automatic. Man, that was an early one. And the dates all line up on this one. We believe that is the original trans. Um, everything here is looking good. Nice and clean under here. Somebody's done a wonderful job on the restoration. You can see that um, all the back side of the cr uh, chrome on the back side of the bumper here is looking sweet. All nice and clean. All the paint work here on the core support, all looking good. I mean, just everything on the car is looking absolutely gorgeous. Now, we've got wide whites here. I'm sure these came from Coker. Yep, Coker Classic right there. Let's see if I can find a size on here anywhere. There it is, 215 14s. And look at that hubcap. Man, that thing looks sharp. Then look down the side of the car. You want to talk about beautiful? bottom side of that rocker also just gorgeous you can tell this painter wasn't afraid to bend over or they had this car up in the air when they did the paintwork 
Now out back here, we got the same size tire, same good looking hubcap. Then the wheel wells also got a light undercoating on it also. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with the bottom of this car. She's just absolutely gorgeous. So let's get under the hood and check out that power plant. All right, under the hood here, we have a date code correct 347. Now this is a NASCAR certified option, baby. She's got three Rochester carburetors sitting on top and look at that air cleaner. Can you imagine if you needed to find one of those air cleaners? I mean, there can't be very many of them babies out there anymore. Looking absolutely sweet. Uh, firewall's all nicely painted. The bottom side of the hood's nicely painted. Um, the car just looks phenomenal, man. It just absolutely gorgeous under here. See the paint work on that motor looking sweet. Just everything about it. I mean, you wanna talk about rare? This is super rare right here, guys. You're not gonna see very many of these unless you go to, like I said, a Pontiac meet or something. You go to a regular old car show, there's no way you see another one of these, especially in this kind of condition. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales Park this dream in your driveway.